Yo, what is good guys and welcome back to some more cyberpunk and we're gonna be meeting back up with Jackie this episode I'm not sure what we're gonna be doing, but let's go ahead and head back outside not really much to say so let's get it Now this game had a very interesting intro to it man. I was looking at all the things you can uh Upgrade they give you quite a bit of things to to mess with in this game of course you have your um your outfits which have you know different levels and you know higher armor points in it. it it's just a lot of things to go through that you know it's gonna take me uh it's gonna it's gonna take me a little bit to understand the game but yet also have these other upgrades that you could upgrade as well which you did a little bit of this stuff before you even started the game whenever you customize your character but I only had like one perk point so I only got to do one upgrade so Bam, yeah, I mean, the scenery of this game is amazing. Looks very nice. I I do want to say that this game. Oh, I gotta come and call. I do want to say that this game does have bugs in it because I was playing it last night. I decided just to play the beginning over again, and I was like driving, and I seen like two people in the middle of the street, and then one guy. I don't know. They were just sitting there. You know, one guy was like on top of this one guy's shoulder. They're just standing in the middle of the street. So, and this game, this game does have some bugs too that needs to be fixed. But you know, it'll get fixed over time. The game just came out. I'm good on that. Thought I'd seen a gun though. Oh, this is armory. Second Amendment. <laughs> All right, where's Jackie? All right, head down this elevator. I don't know if I'm going. Oh, I got it. I think I got to press down. Did I press it? All right, got some side missions. Um, I'll check these out later. Cause I just want to focus on the main mission when it comes to me recording. I still don't know if I want to live stream on this game because if I do, I'll just do like side missions only. Okay, so we can actually pull our weapon out right now, but I don't want to pull it out because I don't want to cause no attention. From all of us at WNS News, we wish you a safe and fun month. Outside, what's this? It looks like ATM. Oh, that's for to sell things. Uh, I didn't even press triangle, but okay. Uh, NCPD scanner hustles. The NCPD will pay you to help fight crime fixers. These intermediaries will inform you about local gigs available. Gigs fixers will contact you when you approach a gig's location. Okay. Okay, we're officially. In the night city, man, this this scenery just looks crazy, insane. Like they just they just made it feel so alive. It's Jackie. Oh, he's getting something to eat. I right, let, let's uh, let's talk to the man. What you eat, dog? Figure you as a type of Asian. Would have thought you'd find it too exotic. Can we sit? What do you mean? What's there not to like? What the hell? Check. That's what I'm saying. Like, be having some weird bugs. Like, I don't know how that just happened here. There's just something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass job. Go on. I mean. Maybe it's not as big as that, but just that he's fronted by a little-known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat-ass black Jesus of the afterlife. <laughs> 300 pounds of partly gold-plated coup. Dexter Deshaun? What's the latest spec on him? I know you got info to spill. Never heard of the dude. He's been off the grid for about two years. Word on the street was... Took a little vacay. Two years? That's exile, not a vacation. What was he up to? Uh, 
guessing he shoved pizzas in his mouth while jerking off the hardcore virtues. The important thing is he's back. It's a fresh crew. How'd you manage to pull this? Trading your spleen or something? As far as I know, we're not the type to get fingered by Dex. You and me? No. Oh, but t -Buck. She's the one that hooked us up. Got us talking. Knew it was a done deal the moment he laid eyes on me. Cause come on. Ain't nobody who can resist this. Am I right? <laughs> sure, Jack. Feeling himself. Whatever you say. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself, face to face. Oh, no pressure, but uh, this whole deal is right on you now, I see. Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back, and my face is yesterday's news. All Dex says he needs to check you, talk to you. I guess it's a solo mission just for us. His job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Guess I got no choice then. I mean, Jack is really the only dude we could trust in this game Jack so is far. A real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is a of his own. Don't get me started on fixers. They catch a client, find the cheapest gong to do the job, then drop their corpse at a landfill. Shit. Hit the nail on the head, V. Gracias, Dios. Soy lleno. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday. Oh, yeah, it's our whip. I think it's the... Is it a... No, it's not. Thanks, Jack. The key to the whip, is it? Appreciate it. Oh, yeah, it is. You can call your active vehicle to your current location. Nice. Top notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. Oh we got a new uh we got a new whip, nice. First stop. Ripper Duck and Holmes. Easy on the gas, huh? I just ate. I was supposed to stop by Vix anyhow. I got a date. Me and Miss D. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know? I'm not even really too far from this place, honestly, just down the street. So we're here. Hold on, what's this thing on the side? You know, oh, we have to meet him yeah, with uh, Ripper Doc over Come here. On, Find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex is cooking up for. Not belong to you, or rather, not only to you. Hold on, who's this fella then? Do you truly believe that um, those who have sold doesn't let me talk to him, so I'll skip him up. Take some stuff around hey, hey. here. Doctor Vector will see you now. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little catching up to do. Hold up, hold up. I'm gonna just steal some stuff real quick. Just anything around here I could take. Oh, is it gonna be dangerous? Don't you worry. Oh, I didn't know it was a cat there. Hey, little kitty. Looks like one of those little, uh, hairless cats. More trucks is 
Vicky, surprise everyone. Alright. Though a common practice, cyberware installation is still a dangerous and invasive procedure which can only be performed by qualified specialists, Ripper Docs. There are several Ripper Docs operating throughout Night City who offer a variety of different cyberware upgrades. Select your desired cybernetic upgrade from the list and enjoy your new abilities. Ripper, it's good to see you. Good to see you too, Pete. Look while. around real quick before I talk to the homeboy. So I know you got some stuff laying around here for me. Gotta run. System malfunction. I wonder why I keep saying that. I want to use use what the computer. Uh, I'm gonna just hop off it. So where were we? Vicky, surprise everyone. Uh, you know what? I think I remember see seeing this dude Good in the to demo. See you too, v. It's been a while. So what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. I think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Old kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Met a new fixer. He gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshawn. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But, something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Need tech that can perform. The Dex to Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Alright, so we could pay him now or we could pay him later. Uh V. We'll pay him now. Oh no, we don't even got the money. Quit crying. So I have to pay him later. I'll bring you the Eddies later. With interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time. You hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Kuroshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now jack in. Hiroshi? Whoa, Vic, nothing tops that on the market. Hmm, sounds like it could come in handy then. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this might be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out. Right now, I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's in hand. All right, let's go through with it. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Hi. Cybernetic implants are mechanical replacements for the organic parts of your body. They can give you superhuman-like abilities, which can improve your combat capability and help you survive in hazardous conditions. Although a common practice in 2077, the installation of cyberware is still an invasive and sometimes dangerous medical procedure, only specialists known as Ripper Dogs are trusted to install cyberware safely. So this is like a whole nother upgrade system. Damn, it's just so many different types of upgrades in this game. It's crazy. What's this? Enhances your vision, empty cyberware mod slot. Kuroshi optical cyberware is a widely popular suit. 
or suite composed of electro-neural enhancements with, electro with environment scanning functionality. And we're doing this one for our hand. What's this? Increases the chance to ricochet shots with power weapons, directly links the user's optical implant to the weapon system, offering real time data tracking. Okay. I think that's all of it. I think that's all that we're doing for now. I think there's nothing else that we're doing. Nah. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. I've honestly, I've never played a game with this many ways to, up, you know, just like right with this here. big of a variety of upgrades. Just like that. Thanks. Like, this game gives you so many different now, types of upgrades to do is insane. I can start cutting. Feel anything? Same as always. Don't feel a thing. You ask me that every time, you know? Not as if things are gonna be any different today. Sure thing, kid. I mean, not like there's any risk of a stroke or paralysis, but <laughs> what do I know? I'm just a doctor. That's what I thought. Lights out for a minute, all right? Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Thank now, you. I wonder if the upgrades are the same whenever you you're playing as, um, what's you call the street kid and uh, the corporate. Contrast, glitches. Like, I wonder if it's the hundred, if it's a hundred percent the same or if it's, or if like some of it is the same and some is different. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Uh, skinny people with your optical cyberware can provide you with a lot of useful information such as how strong an enemy might be, who is in their crew, or what type of weapon they use. As a skilled netrunner, you can see a list of quick hacks which you can use against your enemies. For the scanner. Take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm. <laughs> with anything, really, scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er do wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. All right, a database of individuals with bounties assigned to them is now available to use. You can identify these wanted persons with your scanner since all are wanted, dead, or alive. The methods uh, you use to claim your reward are entirely up to you. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Yeah, so this game has a lot of upgrades, and it, you know, and it lets you decide on how you want to do, you know, these missions. How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. All right, so we don't have that yeah, malfunction thing anymore. I don't know what to say. I didn't even know we had a virus in us. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now and another two in an hour. What am I looking at? A mild stem should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. 
Alright, let's go see Jackie. Go on, kid. Show him what you made of. I actually went the wrong way, but I'll take this since I'm over here. Where you came from. Much appreciation. Up, you idiot. Who's winning? Hernandez. You know, in the old days, that cripple Malone would have been flat on the boards. Oh, Jackie's texting me. Let's go meet oh, back up with him. Fighters got extra skull lining. Absorb 75% of every blow. Okay, let's put a chin in there. That was a whole nother area, what the hell? Your heart chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. Alright, so I guess I'm leaving Jackie here. Alright, um. Meet with Dex. Alright, where's my vehicle at, though? I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now, that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. I don't even see my vehicle nowhere. I don't know. I don't know where my vehicle went. Oh, it's a crime scene. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still. Oh, it's right the there. Point. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll yeah, it's the bugs call. I'm talking about. Got my car floating and shit. Max tag hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. The hell is that a person just in the middle of the street that just lay down? All right, there are various ways to in incapacitate enemies without killing them non lethal takedowns, non lethal quick hacks, non lethal weapons, EMP grenades, and some combat gadgets. Weapon mods that change damage to non lethal. If a given weapon, combat gadget, or quick hack deals non lethal damage, it will be mentioned in the description. Oh, you know what? I think Dexter is that one black dude that I've seen in the demo. Yep, he is. Alright, so we're getting inside. Spot with him. Gonna negotiate. Alright, so I definitely remember him from the demo. Yo, Mr. V. A pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bank? Would you rather live in pieces, Mr. Nobody, die right old and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? somebody where you fizzle out into nothing night city don't let you choose oh but it does see in my line of work i choose to be mr chill but folk who try to take advantage well they see the beast inside all right listen close scanning a serious job now playing gargantuan hello hang on I got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could have had Jackie or T-Buck sitting here. Could have just done this on comms. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past, and sweet T-Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, 
got a special little pre-mission just for you. But we'll get to that. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. The job's to grab it. Simple. Yeah. Guessing it belongs to a court. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. Problem. Just a death sentence. NC's Arasaka's turf. Nobody fucks with them here. What can I say, Mr. B? High risk, high reward. First rule of the afterlife. Besides that, I'm no leadhead. Ain't gonna leave no trace for them to follow because we're gonna do this clean and on the hush hush. We understand each other. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs act of resolve in that. Second, the rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Client. What's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the Flathead. A little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high grade military tech. Cause if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. Don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, a.k.a. Royce, plane dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this ship's from one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Prima Donna. Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. Alright, I think we're back at thing, where we met him at. No, no, we're at a different area. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Not sure what that's supposed to mean, but okay. Catch you later. Catch you on the flip side. Alright, performing certain actions will reward you with street cred, build your street cred to make a name for yourself in the Night City Underworld, doing so will open up new opportunities. Alright, so we can fast travel in this game, now I don't know... Alright, let's answer Dexter, Jackie's call. I was just gonna say, I don't know what to do. Yeah, Gordito's a big deal.
guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. Is this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clepped it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the Gangoons had a switch up in management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but I don't know how much help she stands to be. Ha. <laughs> Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Parker. I think I ought to see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. I wonder if they let us take other people's vehicles in this game. Alright, so we can, but I'm not gonna take his vehicle. I was just curious if they let us. Alright, go to Lizzie's bar between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. What the hell? So we guys actually have to go there at a specific time what what the hell is the time anyways I don't know they don't even have the time in this game I mean I'm gonna just go over there pretty sure I can, I'm pretty sure I could go over there right now pretty sure it wouldn't be a problem Coming up close. Uh, it's gonna be right there. Go ahead and turn in right here. Oh, let's park this bad boy. What is this, a club? Well, like the club. Or is it like a strip club? Uh, excuse me, how? Close. What do you mean you close? Okay, but they're telling me to come here at a between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. But what the hell is the time? That, that's the thing. You don't see the time nowhere. Oh, it's 4:25 p.m. All right, so I actually have to wait. Is there any way we could like pass the time though? I wonder. Cannot skip time right now. Oh, we can't skip. Okay, so. Damn, there's quite a bit of side missions over here. I guess we'll track this job to pick up.
Okay, I mean, it's not tracking it for me. I gotta call somebody? Oh, I'm trying to figure out how the fuck do I call people again. Okay, there we go. Stout here. Start by telling me how you got this number. No more than your number. Heard you misplaced a convoy. You shut him up. Spill what you know. Don't make me wait. <laughs> nuh uh, not on the horn. Let's meet. Cut a deal. Session. A deal. Fine. First exit off Skyline, driving towards the NID. Storm channel under the overpass. Meet you there. All right, let's go ahead and meet this lady. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here. I know nothing crazy didn't happen this episode. It's just been a lot of talk, but this mission here is just pretty much a build up into our next mission, which is the pickup. But I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you did, be sure to drop a like, comment, subscribe, and tap that post notification bell, and I will see you guys later. Peace out, take care, and thanks for watching.